<laughs> well, trail closed. This was the trail I had planned for today, a little circular route around to Wildcat Canyon, but uh, my original path is closed, and that's going to be okay. Um, because, coincidentally enough, I've decided that my mantra for today is just going to be patience. Just stay patient. I haven't been out shooting in three or four months. I haven't been hiking in like on a good hike for five or six months. Uh, and I haven't been making a video for almost a year. So one, thanks for, uh, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. But I am rusty in everything. So today, I'm just going to be patient with myself and enjoy it and go for the day. Uh, and here's our first obstacle, trail closed. Uh, not the end of the world. There are a bunch of little closed loop trails around here. They all end up going down near the Illinois River out and back. So we're just going to change our route. We're going to go that way up the hill a little bit and we'll come up over the top of Wildcat Canyon rather than hiking down the bottom of it. So. Not really a test of patience so much, just a slight rerouting. But welcome to Starved Rock State Park here in Illinois. It's a beautiful park. We're outside. We're going to enjoy it. Let's go. to the bottom of Wildcat Canyon. A uh, slightly circuitous route, not too bad. In the practice of patience today, I'm gonna put down my camera bag, walk around in here, see what, if anything, I can find. Try to create some sort of a photograph today, some sort of image. Um, it's the whole point of it. Get out, enjoy it, and create something that's mine and unique that I can share with everyone. So, I'm going to patiently walk around Wildcat Canyon here and see what I can find. All right, I've circled this fallen log, which is coming down right between these two trees. In fact, they're even starting to grow together right in here. Uh, I was looking wide at these two trees because I really do like them, but a wide angle shot includes too much sky, uh, a medium telephoto, uh, there's not enough separation between the tree and the rock walls. I couldn't find a good angle on it. So as I'm walking around this tree, I, of course, find this great knot hole on this side of this fallen log that looks like it's got a little turtle head poking right out of it. So that's going to be my first shot of the day. It's going to be, uh, I don't know, maybe successful, maybe not, but I'm going to set up on it and I'm going to shoot it because I like it and that's what this All is right, about. We're set, up, we're set up on our little, little knot hole, turtle knot hole here. Uh, this is great. This is just the way the wood's kind of eroded away. It looks like there's this little turtle head just kind of poking out of his little, I don't know, his little burrow. <laughs> uh, I like it. It's really simple. Let me show you what we're looking at here. There's my little turtle head guy. Uh, and this is pretty much the frame. This is kind of what it's going to look like. We're going to look cutting off the top and the bottom of this of this little den uh, just a little bit to kind of more emphasize the head poking out. Uh, and then the, this side, as you can see, is what's going to fall out of focus. So we're going to do a separate focus over here just to get the whole image uh, in in focus. And that's it. Take this one. See how it turns out. See what we think. Uh, I just I just think it's a fun little character. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this little shot, and then we're going to explore this little canyon a little bit more. All right, I found a second shot, and I'm excited about this one. It's simple. I have half an acorn shell resting just in the surface of the water and a little tiny brown spotted leaf next to it. And I've got this really still stagnant water that's kind of got the oils and the tannins leaching from the leaves and the trees and the plant life around us <clears throat> up in it, which is giving it this kind of a cool rainbowy sheen and I'm also getting a great reflection of the sky in it. So this water looks really, really silver and it's providing a great contrast between the browns of this acorn shell and this leaf. The shot's really, really simple, framed up over the top of it. 
can show you what we're looking at right here. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this in a four by five crop. So it'll be a little more room at the top and the bottom than what you're seeing in the video screen and a little squashed in from my left and my right. But great acorn little shell there, great little leaf there, beautiful color and contrast in the leaf and in the acorn shell. And then just contrasted by that great silvery reflected blue sky in this water. It's a really simple shot and I like it. I really kind of do like it. that I really like. Um, <laughs> I say that with such surprise in my voice, don't I? But it's such a simple shot and it's kind of a little departure for me. It's not a close up on, a, on an intimate scene, uh, which is kind of my go-to. This is, I wouldn't call it a wide angle shot because I am shooting at 200 millimeters on my 70 to 200. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm shooting at 100 millimeters on my <laughs> 70 to 200. So kind of wide. But this one is really simple. Just there's some light catching these two trees up against the cliff face right over here. And that's the shot. It's just all about the light. Nothing much to it. Just shooting this ISO 100. Again, F9, 180th of a second. No two second timer to let the shake, let the camera settle. There's no wind, no breeze, nothing to think about. Now, here it is. So you can see, uh, this is gonna be really hard with the telephoto, but a couple of leaves here, a couple of leaves here. I got this beautiful tree trunk shooting up all these rocks in the background. And I am kind of underexposing this one. Let's see if I can do it here. That's the wrong way. To get a little something like that in my photo, uh, I'm clomping out those trees, branches coming in from the top. Those are cropped out in my still image. And it's just those two clumps right in there. Thanks, little trees, little canyon, little park. friends. Well, we're back up on the ridge trail, headed back to the trailhead and the parking lot. And I think we're going to call it a day. Um, I got one additional shot besides the ones I've already showed you uh, in LaSalle Canyon. I just kind of went on a little further into LaSalle Canyon to check it out. Similar to the one I got in Wolf Trap Canyon. I forgot the name of that one already. Uh, Wildcat, Wildcat Canyon, that's the one. Uh, similar, leaf, two leaves, little acorn seed in some, in some oily skinned water, again with the reflective sky. Just really kind of like that subject matter today. That's what popped out at me and that's what I went with. Uh, but the day is wearing on and it is getting uh, a little more popular here. There are more people along the trail and I'm getting a little more nervous about filming, which is why you don't have any footage of that last shot I got. So I'll just pop it up here at the end of the video. But I want to take this moment to thank you for coming along with me. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And uh, stop on over at my website, toddhphoto.com, uh, and check out some more of my work. Uh, some new and upcoming things there soon, I hope. So if you want to stay up to date on that stuff, consider signing up for my newsletter. There I just send you out my blog once a month. Uh, and I'll keep you up to date on any changes coming to the website or anything else happening for that matter. Uh, but that's it for now from Starved Rocks State Park here in Illinois. So long, and we'll see you next time.